Alrighty. Well, 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 well. So if you've seen this, I'm actually on vacation because by the time that I'm this is posted, which would be tomorrow. Actually, I don't think I'll be on vacation. I think I'll be like on a plane by the time this is posted. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'll probably be able to respond because I'll be on a plane, nothing else to do. So be fun. Um, but week 11 season quest, apparently there are more challenges. Um, apparently, I guess it makes sense considering we have like two, three more weeks of challenges, but I'm glad that we do have more challenges because not only we have Dragon Ball Z challenges going on currently, and we'll have that for the next like three days, like a lot of them, uh, like a lot of them. We'll also have weekly challenges this week and next week. And, uh, yeah, I think that would actually be good. I think we have two more weeks of the, the entire season itself, and then I should be back refreshed, ready to go on. But, uh, let's jump into challenges. I don't want to carry this video on too long. Um, but week 11 season quest, the first challenge we are talking about is eliminate an opponent with a junk rift. This one's super simple. The hardest part about these challenges is really finding what you need. The junk rift, you just find them on the ground. You usually get two. So if you miss one, you can probably get the next one. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is either find a bot or go in bot lobbies and get the, a bot to just, you know, stand still. You can eliminate them very easily or find someone that's AFK and somehow you manage to find them. That would probably also be another option. But, uh. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have damage a player with a DMR at greater than 75 meters away. I believe this was actually a challenge like six weeks or like at week six. It was like one of the extra challenges just in case. Um, I think they actually made this like a real challenge. Instead of damage, it's actually just you have to shoot them from 75 meters or greater. Um, it, really easy. I mean, it's a sniper rifle. It's meant for long distance. You should be able to do it. And 75 is not that far anyways. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Super easy challenge. Just got to get a DMR. And you guys can get a mythic one too out of your tent. If you do do bot lobbies, it goes right back in your tent at the end of the game. Or you can put it back in your tent. Um, So, yeah. Uh, Next up challenge, we have eliminated opponents with the Kami Kami. Ha! This is actually very simple. We actually have this uh, for the Dragon Balls. Uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z one. I think I've already done it. I think it's gone. But, uh, yeah, all you have to do is eliminate three people with the Kami Kami Ha. And, like I said, it's really easier in bot lobbies. Not a lot of people are on board for bot lobbies, but it's really simple in regular lobbies too because Kami Kami Ha is really overpowered right now. So yeah, um, super easy challenge. And you could finish some of the Dragon Ball Z challenges while you're ahead of it uh, or while you're doing that one. So pretty cool. Uh, and then the next challenge up is emote at the reality tree. This one's simple. All you have to do is go to reality false and emote. Um, this one's simple. I, I don't know. Yeah, you, you literally just have to do that. I mean, like there's nothing to explain explanation that i could tell you to make it simpler so yeah uh next up we have land three times in a single match so that means basically you have to land uh at least three times the easiest way to do it without having to you know look for something like you know looking for the uh nimbus cloud to be able to launch yourself you can just go to the middle of the map loot lake and there's launch pads already down there and then there's also cannons at lazy lagoon so technically you can land uh after you shoot yourself out of the cannon there's multiple ways you can do this, but the easiest way is, of course, going on the direct locations of where you can actually launch yourself up, like launch pads, uh, um, the uh, cannonball the cannonball launchers. And then, of course, there's the Nimbus Cloud, which is also one of the easier ways. But yeah, uh, three different ways to do it. So you guys should be able to do that. You have to do that three times. Uh, next up challenge, we actually have open supply drops. This is a little OG. If you guys ever played OG Fortnite, uh, this used to be like a weekly challenge. This is almost like every other week. You'd have to open a few supply drops or even a daily one. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You have to open two supply drops. Uh, this one's decently easy. If you do bot lobbies, of course, it's easier because bots don't open uh, supply drops. Um, and then, of course, if you do it in regular missions, sometimes you just get lucky towards end game and you get that one and you can open it. So, yeah, very, uh, very simple. Um, it's just more tedious because sometimes you have to land on them. But the Nimbus Clyde, you could probably land on it and find one near you. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we have damage opponent vehicles with the charge SMG. Looks like we are going back to the charge SMG. You have to do 500 damage. I think, I believe, it does 28 damage with the common charge SMG, I believe. So, you have to shoot it probably. I think it holds 30. So, you probably have to shoot it like twice, if that, if it's fully charged. So, this one shouldn't be too hard. Um, of course, finding the SMG is probably the hardest part. And then, getting an, uh, an opponent in a vehicle is a little harder. I know there's a henchman going around now. There's a ghost henchman and then the, uh, the other henchman in the black suit. They're actually driving around. This might actually help a little bit. You can actually probably shoot this. I'm not going to 100% say it is probably, you know, real or you probably do it. Um, but, you know, you can do it. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that, that's probably a 
a, a way to do it. But you have to do 500 damage to opponent vehicles. Um, otherwise, uh, should be, uh, should be pretty simple. If not, you could probably do it in like Team Rumble. I think there's some vehicles in there. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the last challenge. In and off on a decently semi semi hard challenge, which is nice. Uh, and then of course we go over the bonus challenges just in case you know people uh, or just in case they come out. We have gain shields 250, and then collect epic tier weapons or higher three of them i think these are just like challenges that we've actually done in the past so they like even if they did add them um surprisingly enough i mean like we've probably done them so you guys don't really need explanation on how to get them but epic tier weapons are higher and you just need if you if it uh, did come out you could probably just use like your your uh, tent with mythics or something like that so yeah um but before we end the video i do want to mention like i said i'll probably be on a plane by the time this video comes out um, and this was probably be the last video you'll probably see of me with my actual camera camera. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, otherwise, uh, hope I have fun while I'm gone. Uh, I don't know if I will be doing the dailies while I'm gone, but, uh, um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, I, I will still be checking YouTube and everything. So, um, yeah. Uh, otherwise I think that's it. I think, uh, that's all the challenges. We do have week 12 challenges. I probably won't go uh, like go over them or anything, but it doesn't seem like, uh, there's any more after that it looks like they've already added them uh, i do also want to mention that we do also have vibe or vibe, viping uh vibing quest lines uh i already finished them yesterday they're pretty simple um and then we also get some next week and then i believe um we have uh the bonus reward or no snap we have snap we have a few more uh, snap rewards that we should be getting so uh these are 14 days so i assume uh some of these will be for season quests so 14 days, that's two weeks. So maybe next week for challenges, we'll probably finish this out. So yeah, Snap has been out for a while now. Hopefully, hopefully there's like, like I, I hate the idea or I hate the fact that they don't show us the rewards until like the day it comes out. I feel like, you know, I just want to know what's out, you know? Also, I, I kind of think it's weird that we don't have more to four cells, but hey, I, I'm a toothbrush and that's all that matters. So yeah, but uh, that is it for these weekly challenges for week 11. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember, use code Matty on the item shop. Also, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Um, a little short video. Kind of, you know, easy challenges this, this week. So, uh, otherwise, go out, do them, uh, finish them up. Make sure you do some Dragon Ball Z challenges to get that glider. And otherwise, I will see you guys uh, either in the daily, uh, later in the afternoon, or... Uh, next week when i uh, do the weekly challenges we'll see but uh everyone have a great day i'll see you guys in uh next one